Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where last time we realised we couldn't go to the moon because we didn't have enough science. So I set about making a, a rather unorthodox uh, ship design that we we're going to take up into orbit, do a few bits of science, grab uh, a Kerbal from orbit because that's one of the contracts we had, and bring him back for profit and science. Unfortunately, at the top of my arc on the way into orbit, oh, we out of fuel. We're not actually out of fuel, are we? We are actually out of fuel. So what we're going to have to do is wait for our 85 kilometer window. In fact, let's not try and race towards it. Let's the launch enhancer the... Uh, so we need to be actually in orbit before we can decouple. Which is slightly annoying. Um, let's fire those engines and aim for something useful. These not active. All right, let's turn that off. Activate. Activate. Okay. It's throttling up a little bit. We're probably going to waste a lot of fuel here. Um, but that's all right. We can deal with that. Hopefully. You can deal with that. Can I? I, I can deal with that if you guys can deal with that. That's the main thing. Uh, right. Periaps is uh, now technically in orbit, but we're going to try and push it to 30, 40... 50, oh come on, higher, 60, right, somewhere between these two will be the height we want, and then we can try and sort out how we're going to meet up with uh, with our friend over there, oh wow, half our fuel is already pretty much depleted, okay, so we just got to wait till we're in the right place, man, I wish I had lights, can you guys see that, I, I can just about see that, so let's try and ease our way down, Okay, wait, what can we test here? Small gear bay. Um, G, does that test? Did that, did that test? I'm not sure how we're supposed to test the gear bay. Uh, run test, there we go. There we go. All right, so there we go. That That's the answer to that mystery. It tells us to test on a drop down menu and we can do the radial decouplers now which is what we want T stage 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 you're not going to stage all right let's pop this down here and ba -bum. oh god no that's that's space debris there oh well who cares as long as our little friend over here doesn't get caught up we'll all be good right so our next plan is to try and meet up with this guy yeah i'm not sure how we're going to do that but we are going to do that Let's get rid of these. Bye 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 bye. That's a lot of our science already accounted for. Um, in fact, so much science, we're going to go have a look at the space station. What is this guy over here? There's debris as well. 70 odd kilo. Uh, so, space center. Uh, so 55.6 our next thing is we need to do some science in space right uh, rescue and test fly I wonder where my other Kerbal is uh, I was supposed to rescue two Kerbals oh dropping stuff so in here somewhere ah oh, like I'm sorry guys this is just as bad for me I'm kind of just having to squint at stuff we're gonna get a crew report we're gonna send it home and that's gonna be another contract done right transmit scientific data from space around Kerbal boom done um i'm not sure what we got for that let's have a look in here oh mine out of the way please we got one science but a lot of money and a lot of money is quite important okay so we need to meet up with our friend over here where is he jürgen he's not yet we're hagen something like that okay at the moment we are just like so totally out of sync with him we're just gonna um run around orbit a little bit until we get close and hopefully close will be close enough uh... okay so we're coming in to see uh how well this is going um we might need to move this we're going to watch this point and see where it goes okay that's not bad 
Um, oh, well, actually, no, that's terrible. That only moves a tiny, tiny bit around. Do you reckon we can uh, do with popping our orbit up a bit higher? And bringing some of these points further around. I mean, look at this. This is coming out, coming down. It was here. What we want is it about here, I think, so that we can say that halfway... Oh, no! Don't tell me we're out of fuel. Do not tell me we're out of fuel. That would be the worst. I can't see my spaceship. Oh, we're in docking mode, that's why. No? No, that's... Oh, I wonder what happened there. The, so the, the sound just kind of cut out for no reason. Okay, so it set as target. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, we're going to push it like this. I think this should do. This should now put our next orbit somewhere close. And if our orbit is somewhere close, we can then muck around in this middle bit here. Yeah, look at that. To try and bring our orbits back to get, um, yeah, close enough together to, to actually be usable. Right. Uh, sometimes I wish this stuff was done out in higher orbit because, well, it takes a while to get round. Okay, so we're going to watch this orange dot here and this orange dot here. And hopefully they'll come closer together. Uh, oh, wait, what? Why didn't I come closer together? What's going on? What's going on here? Okay, so this is amazing. Perhaps what we're going to have to do is look prograde. Oh, am I? Are we? Ah, oh, seven degrees is close. We're going to push this hard until these two meet up. Um, about yeah, there we go. That that's good enough for me. With both of these close, when when we get round to here, we're going to try and match our velocities with the target, hopefully. Uh, and then at some point, well, at this point here, we can do a bit of finessing around and try and get so close that we can then switch to this guy over here and just fly him in with his jetpack, because uh, that's how I want to do it. Wow, th these guys going through the lav ball here is a little bit, a little bit confusing. Right, we've got massive amounts of uh, target differential here. Um, we're going to come in close. Maybe a little bit closer. I mean, these two are 64 kilometers away. And yeah, look how close that is. 11 kilometers. Right, so let's get back into our staging view. Whoa, right, where is he? Where is he? I'm going to call him Jurgen, even though it's not, not Jurgen. Um, it just, I, it's one of these names that I just have no idea how to pronounce. So, uh, yeah, there he is. 55 kilometers away, terrible. Right, so we want to try and nullify our speed whilst pushing ourselves towards him, right? Now, if I remember correctly, that means we're, we want to push this over that way, so we're gonna do it like this, right? That's how it works. I'm sure this is how it works. And then when it gets close enough, we're gonna hit the, the, the stop. And we're gonna check our map again. We're gonna see if we've got any closer on the next Ooh, wow, 37 kilometers. Right, let's get let's get that 37 kilometers. Let's get to that 37 kilometers, um, and see what happens. Because, well, it looks like we're getting worse all the time, which is a little bit annoying, but at the same time doable because we've got all this engine, all this engine. Now if we just keep not notching around like this. We should hopefully eventually have that on there when we can just kind of point at this marker and blaze towards him as hard as possible. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's good. Right, where is he? This this is the question. We're going to just start heading towards him at meters per second. This is, this is a little bit further away than I was hoping to be. Let's have a look at how our orbits match up. Not, not amazingly well. What happens if we just keep pushing here. Does this get closer together? 87, 85, 84, 83. Maybe the amount this is going down is getting quite scary though, but let's once again bring it down into a really close orbit. Uh, close encounter, sorry. 13 kilometers, getting better. Still not great. 12, 10, 9, 8. Six, six, six kilometers. It's pretty good. Let's just race towards that six kilometer mark there. Right, like that. And now we need to spin around and find our dead zone or our nullify zone. This one. 
and hopefully without spending all our fuel ease ourselves down into uh, into a, a co-planer well a co co something or other orbit I can't remember. What's, what's the word when everything lines up perfectly it's one of those we're going for one of those because <laughs> um, co-planer obviously is just about the the, the, the angle um, the, how close to, oh wow look how far away we are it's pretty good it's pretty good could be a lot better um, where's our point of intersect over there we're going to bring these together even more until we are something like that uh, how close 22 20 19 right 7.3 uh, still not quite as close as I want to be 4.6 1.1 that's that's pretty close we're not even going to bother mucking around with this one we're just going to go straight for this one in fact we can time warp around and get closer than that oh and we hit the low orbit problem again um and hopefully we've got enough fuel to get him i don't think we're going to be able to get two back in fact i i know for certain we're not going to be able to get two back uh 14 meters per second target difference and he's oh look at him there he is Oh, stop, 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 stop. Right, so we're going to go around. We're going to use the tiniest amount of fuel to hopefully push this guy back to something like zero meters per second different. And then we can use our jetpack to push ourselves close. Because that's, that's what it's going to take now. We're nearly out of fuel and we need to um, save that so we can go back. And going back is the key. Well, I say that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello, Jurgen. Um, let's get jetpacks on the go. Let's put some lights on. Can we look at that and go that way? Uh, one thing that really annoys me with this is that you can't. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you can't get a, a targeting reticule, so you got to kind of just like do it by eye. Um, you may have noticed is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, I know I sure have. Um, right, so this is this is difficult. This bit, I don't even know how close I am, how fast I'm travelling at it. Uh, uh, very fast, by the looks of it. What we want to do is look down underneath a little bit, and then we, when we pull backwards to slow ourselves down, which we will be doing, um, we can get close enough without having to. Uh, sorry, we can get slow enough without having to burn all our fuel. How much fuel do you reckon we have? Oh, we're doing alright. Got loads of fuel. Um, no, 400 metres to cross. We're going to just kind of zoom in at times five here. And hopefully we won't see that number go up anymore. Okay, we're going to slow down again. We appear to be headed over the top, so we're going to give it a little push down. It's really hard to, to tell where we're going with this. I'm going to just kind of look over the top of his helmet like this and, and hope, hope that that's good enough. I'm going to turn the lights on and just kind of, yeah, just just keep tapping in the direction we think we need to go. Um, which at the moment is very fast towards it. Let's just ease ourselves down. Oh, that was a lot. My light's on, my light's not on this turn that on because that will give me some sort of indication as to how far away I am okay so forwards so we are two forward pushes off of going backwards if that makes sense um, because I as I say I have no, no meters per second gauge to to relate to oh, I can almost make out stuff I can make out stuff oh we can we can do it guys we're gonna do it somehow <laughs> Somehow, somewhere, somewhere. Ah, oh, door is on the underside. Oh wait, we can go over. Okay, slow down. Oh yes. Oh yes. Grab that. Get inside. All right. Now I know we've got a contract to save another Kerbal, but pff, no. <laughs> right. So where do we want to make our breaking burn? Um. We want to go around orbit a couple of times, don't we? Look, we, we need... Is that it? 
Is that the Kerbal Space Center? That one there is. So we're going to go around orbit another time and we're going to let it come out into the sunlight because, hey, sunlight is what it's all about, right? Um, or at least being able to see where we're landing is all about sunlight. And I am very confused as to where... Uh, okay, so he's added to my crew. That's very nice. And we got that one. All right, awesome. Maybe it's time we bought a, uh, built ourselves a space station up here. Um, that'd be very nice if we could build ourselves a space station up here. Um, all right, awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to bring our periaps down to 40 kilometers over the top of the space center because that's what worked last time. So that's what we're going to do this time. Um, or we could just push it until it's doing that there we go that that should hopefully land us in the right spot and if it doesn't we've got lots of parachutes and the smallest amount of fuel left how much fuel do we have no no i managed to press x the moment we run out of fuel uh which is interesting okay we're just going to time warp our way around i suppose i mean what else do we have to do wait for the sunrise um yeah that's 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 about it that's all we got to do. So we're going to time warp our way down into the atmosphere as fast as we possibly can go, hopefully. Uh, time warping has slowed down. So we're going to look upwards like this, turn our SAS off, and just um, time accelerate through as fast as we can. The beauties of the desert are underneath us. Uh, we're waiting for the glories of the sun so that we can actually start seeing what's going on. If we, ooh, Of course, we're in time acceleration, so uh, pressing buttons like that will have quite a massive effect. Uh, let's let's just let's just do that. There we go, and we'll put ourselves into sta stableness. All right, okay. <laughs> that that went well, honestly. So that's where we were supposed to be going. It didn't happen because we don't have any fuel lines, uh, and docking ports would also be quite nice for a station. So there we go. There we have a nice little uh, moon uh, sunrise band over there, waiting for it to come up and uh, kiss our vessel with some photons, because that's what we need. Look, there we go landing on oh we appear to have our vessel the wrong way around let's let's just turn it around like this there we go can can jeb see the 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 sun no 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 we can't all right let's carry on carry on because that's what we need to do oh wow look we're gonna overshoot by quite a lot right oh um let's just fire the last of our fuel like that didn't work okay uh do you reckon popping parachutes now is a good idea bad idea i don't know it's an idea is that where we're supposed to be going actually oh it is oh great that's all right that's all right we're actually gonna be okay Whew. i thought we'd overshot this continent but that's all right oh no we're gonna smash into a mountain aren't we i haven't put any landing gear on this either oh i hope this uh one two three four five six seven, like eight parachutes is enough seven parachutes i've only got one on top not two all right well we, we will find out we definitely look like we're going to land on the wrong side of the mountains. Um, yeah. I should have put those landing gear on the bottom, really, shouldn't I? That would have made more sense. Right, which one's Jürgen in? Um, I don't know. How do you pronounce that? Wehrhürgen? Wehrhürgen. Yeah, something like that. Anyway. So... Coming down for the last two kilometres, uh, we really need to ease up on this time acceleration before we hit hit the floor hit that point in fact so there was our 500 meter mark i was just coming in here to see but the parachute told me anyway and five meters per second i think we're going to lose some engines here but the control uh the can the panel pods the pods should be fine wow english steve you have it use it well right and with this last kilometer to go i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining us for this rescue mission guys uh it's been um, as smooth as every other mission has gone so far. Oh, and per perfect like that. Um, right, well, let's recover the vessel. See what science we've got. Hopefully we're going to hit that magical 90 so we can get some uh, some fuel lines on the go. The magical 90 is what it's all about. Um, no, no, 58. We, we didn't even get close to it. We got all the parts back and we got the crew back. Extra crew, though, that's nice. All right. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time where we're going to try and earn that extra 40 science somehow um, and explore the moon. That That is a must. We should. I'm, I'm shocked that we're not doing this already. Anyway, bye!